Welcome, welcome to another day in Benidorm town in Costa Blanca in Spain and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Ana where we show you a latest information, a Benidorm and Spanish news update and obviously different parts of Benidorm town. Today we are on a very vivid and alive Mediterranean Avenue in Rincon de Loich, right where the Levant Beach starts, which is right there in front of us by the tall buildings. There are quite a few changes here on the Mediterranean Avenue. We'll explore the businesses, bars, supermarkets, and we'll see what the atmosphere is looking like. By the way, did you notice the difference? The biggest difference on the Mediterranean Avenue right now is that the trees have leaves on them back again. Yay, we couldn't be happier. These cut branches that do not have any kind of leaves on them at all does not really look nice, but the trees have grown quite a lot and there are brand new green leaves already here hopefully they're not gonna cut them any longer and i do actually hope it's not gonna be the case right at the beginning of the mediterranean avenue we have these supermarkets that do offer you sun hats towels snacks magnets and some more useful things sunscreen uh, sun tanning oil and much much more obviously drinks and snacks too this is great in case you do not have time to go anywhere else to pick things up but on your way to the beach you you think that you forgot something and you need it so this is what these places are actually uh, for some typical chinese bazaars where you can get some cheap clothing shoes slippers uh, bags for the beach butterfields this i think they opened last year 650 euros for a scooter look at this if you want to purchase it this is the price more or less there are slightly cheaper ones or slightly more expensive ones depends but obviously it's not just for the purchase they do have the um, rental of scooters too in case you want it t-shirts here usually are quite cheap around eight euros for a t-shirt eight or ten euros more or less and these are like fake branded ones like Hugo Boss, Armani, Tommy Hilfiger and etc. The restaurant Grand China. Never been here. If you've been here, let us know if you did enjoy this place. Here we have some real estate companies. By the way, right now there's so, so many properties on the market. In case if you're interested in searching for a property to buy one as an investment or for your living here in the area let us know contact us in our immigration office i'll leave you the contact right here on the video below you can see our email and our whatsapp for the immigration office service in front we have some more rentals english breakfast 550 that's slightly expensive isn't it that's more on the expensive side some more typical chinese bazaars uh, and some bars and obviously other services apart from bars and shops there's also banks like this one right here this is a typical spanish bank santander here is where it's recommended as well as in other typical spanish banks to withdraw the money instead of using the international atm machines unless you do not have any commissions on them that's the only reason why you should be withdrawing there and not in a typical Spanish bank. Usually Spanish banks have better currency exchanges and in case something happens, they will be able to help you out immediately. The giant bag and accessories shop. This opened up sometime last year and it's quite a big shop. They have affordable prices for different types of bags. Uh, small luggage items even belts they have and quite a lot of tourists are interested in it because they see some attractive prices from the outside more typical shops that locals do not usually uh, visit and we have already summer clothing mostly white sandy type of clothes are on this year here in spain and all the places all the places have the 
summer clothing exposed already on the entrance shoe shop and some printing place this one is closed right now probably because it's midday it's around 2 p.m when we're filming this video spanish siesta you know all the fun and some shoes a lot of these are made in spain they're brought from spanish uh, providers here in the area of alicante or elche and these tend to be slightly discounted items because these are like last pairs and for a quite affordable price you can get shoes made in spain that are known to be a very very good quality there's a lot of teeny tiny streets that connect the mediterranean avenue which is where we are right now with the levante beach we've showed you some of these streets closer towards the old town some while ago but if you're interested in exploring these tiny streets hide a lot of unusual businesses a lot of nice restaurants cafeterias bars shops different types of services rentals uh, barber shops supermarkets and much much more even tattoo shops so don't be afraid explore the uh, streets the tobacco shops they also sell newspapers top-ups and some more things out oh, here as you can see that's my hubby right there he's filming today's video he's using the camera today to show us a benidorm town so thank you hubby for the video some uh, gaming salons usually they're all closed from the outside you cannot see what's happening on the inside wonder which is a nightclub never ever seen it open probably because we don't usually go as late at night in town if not we would see it in all its glory the chemist which is a pharmacy basically closed right now on midday which is also strange perfume places you can buy cosmetics here big sizes shop up until 4xl do not think that's that's actually like a very very big size some shops do put up until 6xl so it's strange it's just up until 4 in front we've had the hotel rio do the hotel from mid playa very nice one fully refurbished interesting design inside and we've actually liked it here we have a branded expensive shops they do have emporio armani they have balenciaga they have ugo boss obviously and much more these are more expensive brands and this is the first shop like this here in this area in rincon de Lodge and beginning of the mediterranean avenue usually other shops are like typical spanish brands it's nothing major it's nothing as expensive only in the old town and on the shopping alley it's where you can see like really branded expensive um, footwear or clothing or accessories so that's interesting this house right here brand new one that they're building right next to the don pancho hotel on the opposite side this is the one that was giving some noise a couple of years ago they're still building it but now they are like on the end phase already mostly doing things on the inside and finishing the exterior but they're not doing too much of a noise any longer which is a good thing and here is where they do sell still some of the last units obviously the higher floors all have sea view towards the levante beach it's a nice property it's brand new one obviously and prices here are not so low to be honest with you 19 only 19 neighbors in total so apart from yourself for example there's just 18 more neighbors in such a high apartment building and that is the reason why probably some floors might have two neighbors only on the floor that's probably the reason but it's something that's preferred quite a lot to have less neighbors on the same floor in front we have some more lovely businesses we have a pizzeria la ricotta this is the bar terrace that they have on the mediterranean avenue and then on the left side they have the restaurant itself menu of the day look at this menu of the day from 1 till 4 13.95 monday till saturday sundays and festive days 
there's two main courses like an entree a main course and then obviously the dessert and maybe even a drink not too bad this terrace obviously also offers the pizza so if you book it here if you ask for it here on the terrace they will just bring it to you from the restaurant that's situated just a couple of steps from here the grand change that they did is the the terrace the cover for the terrace look at this before it was more open so they didn't have like the cover for it so there was a lot of sunshine and they keep updating it every now and then so they make improvements which right now it's actually very very nice looking terrace and a lot of people are coming here pizzas should be also nice as well because it's an italian restaurant how bad could they be right should be very very nice uh, pizza actually if you remember in one of the videos we've showed you the new businesses on the traditional city center by the techno kid and there was an italian pizzeria that had an authentic italian oven that was exposed for all people to see that also might have some incredible pizzas made from scratch so it's really really recommended the don pancho hotel as well as the hotel rio door we've filmed it for you here on the channel so if you want to see different kinds of hotels that we've showed you just put benidorm by anna and put the hotel name and if we have it it's going to be displayed to you here in youtube we filmed quite a few of them so make sure you check it out because these hotels mostly have been refurbished there were some changes in there and it actually shows you if it's worth booking there for you depending on what you are looking for so check the videos out before you travel or before you book your holidays so that you could get the best hotel possible for what you are looking uh, for quite a lot of people that's something incredible look at this there's quite a lot of people here already you know that the summer season has started when you start and see a lot of families and a lot of people in general with shorts t-shirts slippers or like open shoes open footwear on the mediterranean avenue usually this area is quiet it's quite quiet but only in summer is when you see it occupied and busy with tourists on specific summer dates and like touristic times of the year and now it is already looking busy does it does, does feel like summer doesn't it look at this with all the green trees with so many people wandering around it does feel like it's summer if we wouldn't know it's april we would say it's june month already it does look really really busy and this is what's going to be happening from now on gonna be busier and busier each and every single day up until august month probably which is when we'll have the peak season the restaurant pizzeria here menu of the day 15.95 you have an entree tomato soup focaccia or croquetas you have a second meal bread and drink dessert either ice cream or that's what included burger body beef 10.95 some other burgers 14 12 euros that's i mean if it's a full plate then that's not too bad at all combined meals some drinks some cocktails this is the one we wanted actually to try the indian place cafe india some people did say it was actually quite nice and they have an affordable menu of 15.95 and i'm really curious because i do not usually see a lot of people out here so i'm wondering if it's actually as good if you've tried it let us know kaiman baby before there was another cafeteria here like a breakfast place now they've changed it there is kaiman big one on the beach and on the back of it there is kaiman baby and this is what it's looking like the design is exactly the same as the one on the beach situated right in front uh wondering if it's gonna be working as good as the previous one is on the levante beach because that one has an incredible terrace with a great views so i'm wondering if this one will be as popular as its bigger copy 
we'll see how that will go but obviously in summer almost all the places are occupied the bad thing about these businesses is that they all have shades on their terraces why it doesn't matter which time of the day it is this side of the mediterranean avenue will always have a shade almost always why this is happening because there is a lot of tall buildings by the beach blocking the sun and giving the shade to these particular parts so it doesn't matter which time of the day you're heading here and actually the good thing is that in summertime going through the mediterranean avenue when it's so hot outside is something that will save you if you do not tolerate the heat so well walking by this part of the mediterranean avenue will bring you a lot of shade either natural or from the buildings which is great to avoid direct sunlight and that's what we actually do when we film a lot of videos we go back through the shady parts through the parts with the natural shade because other way it's absolutely impossible let's see we got curious let's see what's happening on the levante beach right now because even if mediterranean avenue is so busy the levante beach must be busy too and shortly here on the channel we'll show you another video from the levante beach on a weekend how busy it actually gets right now on weekends here in benidorm town so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for the next video so that you wouldn't miss any important information by the way right now we do not have any kind of major celebrations here in the area so it's all quiet in a sense that no concerts no big things coming up just incredible sunny holidays with a lot of activities to perform while here in benidorm town or surrounding region as you all know we do have our private tours which are opening up right now already for the summer season we are officially open back again and we do have different private tours in guadalest village algar waterfalls alicante tapas tour in benidorm with some tapas included as well and much much more natural parks hiking walks relaxing walk and much more and if not obviously you can explore alicante valencia denia finestrat if you wish and some more villages nearby there's a lot to see and so little time the beach is looking absolutely lovely it's sunny it's nice it's very warm outside some people are doing parasailing already wow see it's on already there's a lot of people on the beach by the seashore enjoying getting some nice fresh spring tan we start to see shorts uh, t-shirts without sleeves even shoes open ones people are even in the shade because the sun is shining so so much it's an incredible atmosphere in the beginning of april here in benidorm town and as we've mentioned previously the easter had to finish and the weather is gorgeous back again this weather will be with us here for a long time from now on bye dears